Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here, and today I have another unboxing. Today I have something really super cool. It is the Vision Tech USB 3.0 Pocket SSD. So it's kind of like a super fast flash drive, USB 3.0 flash drive. Um, this one is huge in capacity, 512 gigabytes. This is a half of a terabyte on a stick, you know, on a, on a tiny stick. So you could use this for storage, or it's so fast that you could use it to install an OS to, like uh, Linux or even Windows if you wanted to. Um, so let's just take a look at the packaging here. So what does it say? So it says, made from durable aircraft grade aluminum. That's really cool because you want a drive like this to be durable. You know, you don't want to put it through the washing machine or run it over it through your car if you don't have to. But if something bad does happen, it's nice to know that it's made out of good materials. Uh, it says here you can back up documents or create a bootable drive, like I said, uh, or store and share photos and music. Very cool. So on the bottom, we show some speeds here. So up to 450 megabytes per second read and 155 megabytes write speeds. That's crazy, that is crazy. And as you can see on the bottom right there, uh, Vision Tech offers US-based tech support. That's really cool. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with having outsourced um, customer service in another country, uh, as long as it's good. Um, however, it, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with having pride in one's country, um, US-based company having US-based tech support, that's appreciated, that's very cool. So let's look at the back here. So, so it's an MLC uh, NAND, capacity is a half terabyte, 512 gigabytes. Uh, like we said, performance is 450 megabytes read and 155 megabytes write, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, interface USB 3.0, backwards compatible, of course, USB 2.0, uh, it's compatible with Windows XP or higher, Mac OS X 10.4 and higher, and of course, Linux. Now, I appreciate that Vision Tech puts Linux on there. So most flash drives and um, like a pocket SSD like this, uh, it's gonna work with Linux, but a lot of companies will leave that off. Um, I like that they put the packaging on there. It shows respect to the Linux community. So thumbs up to Vision Tech for showing some uh, some respect and some uh, some love for the Linux community by putting that on there. Uh, TAA compliant, yes. I don't know what that means. I'll have to look into that. Um, and a warranty, a two-year limited warranty. Uh, let's see, shop for more Vision Tech products online at visiontech.com. Now, if you're not fam familiar with Vision Tech, I mean, they're, they're very popular for um, graphics cards, for AMD graphics cards. Um, but they also have been branching out and, and doing things like drives and um, chargers and a lot of really cool products. So Vision Tech is really doing some great things. Um, I had gotten a pair of scissors out to open this, but now that I'm looking, it looks like this kind of blister pack can be opened without... Yeah, and that's really cool. I hate, let me adjust my camera here. I hate when I get a package and it's so hard to open and I end up like almost cutting myself. I appreciate that Vision Tech has kind of gone with a, uh, a packaging that is very easy to open. So here's the drive, Vision Tech. Very nice, USB 3.0 pocket SSD, 512 gigabytes. Now when it said aircraft aircraft grade aluminum, I kind of thought that that was just the innards and the outside was like a rubber. This is, this is like cold to the touch. This is beautiful. This is an insane drive. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. The cap, the cap is rubber. That just kind of pulls off there. The cap is rubber, but the body is aircraft, aircraft grade aluminum. You even see some screws here. So it's not just like a glued together um, drive. I mean, this is, this, is a, this is a hardcore flash drive pocket SSD. Awesome. Very cool. So that's the drive itself. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. And you can see behind it, I have my System76 laptop running Ubuntu. Uh, so what I'm going to do to um, review this drive, to test it, is I'm going to format it. Um, it's it's uh, probably going to come in a fat format out of the box. Um, I also want to do ext4, um, and I'm going to benchmark it on, on Ubuntu and Linux because it actually comes uh, out of the box 
um, with the GNOME disks, you can actually benchmark a drive very well using that system. Um, so I, I find it a great way to benchmark a drive, and since it also supports the ext4, you can easily test both file formats to see, um, you know, if there's any, you know, the file system formats rather, to see if there's any difference between the two when operating this drive. Because if you are going to use this for Linux, obviously you're going to want to format an ext4. Okay guys, Brian Fajoli here, and I'm going to benchmark and test this Vision Tech beautiful 512 gigabyte pocket SSD flash drive. I want to test the speeds of this drive. Um, so I'm using my System76 laptop, which is running uh, Ubuntu um, uh, GNOME, you can see here. Uh, so I'm going to open up disks. Now what I've done is I have disconnected from the internet so there'll be no chances of anything popping up and interrupting the video. Um, so as we can see here, uh, there's a 500 gigabyte hard drive in there, um, 120 gigabyte um, SSD, and there's an optical drive. So now I'm going to plug in the Vision Tech drive into the USB 3.0 port on the side. New volume, there we go. Okay, uh, comes up as a 512 gigabyte disk. Uh, and it's actually, surprisingly, it's formatted out of the box NTFS. I would have thought it would have been like FAT or XFAT or something, but it's NTFS out of the box. So why don't we go ahead and, and benchmark this and see what happens. So in disks, you can actually go to benchmark partition. We'll just, uh, do you want to do the partition or the drive? Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, so there's a free space partition. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll benchmark the partition. Benchmark partition. Uh, start benchmark and we want to do uh, both read and write um, sample size number of samples so out of the box is a hundred let's do a thousand let's add a zero on the end of there so we'll get uh, a longer test so let's start the benchmark okay I don't think you guys can see my password being typed okay oops There we go. All right, let's see what happens. Whoa. So the average read speed is 429 megabytes per second and the write rate 135. And that's pretty much right on where um, Vision Tech is claiming that it's gonna, it's gonna be, so let's see. And I apologize if this video doesn't come out great. I am, you know, recording uh, using my iPhone, uh, looking onto my laptop screen, so it might not come out too great. So this benchmark is taking a little longer than normal because I'm doing a thousand uh, passes rather than just a hundred. Um, we should give a better idea of performance, but look at that. I mean, it is holding strong. There's no dips in performance. This is really impressive. This This is phenomenal, actually, guys. I mean... Uh, normally you would expect maybe some dips in there as you're doing the benchmark. This drive is like holding strong. Look at that. Look how straight those lines are. Uh, you might expect to see like some dips and things when you're doing a, a test, especially with a thousand passes like this. Um, this is cool. This, this is, I'm really impressed. This drive is amazing. Holy cow. Holy moly, guys. Look at that. Now, again, this test is with NTFS formatting. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to format the drive in ext4 and do the same exact test. I mean, that's, that's beautiful right there. Okay, guys, so now I have formatted the Vision Tech USB 3.0 pocket SSD um, in ext4. And now I'm going to do that same benchmark uh, using that new file system. So let's go ahead and benchmark. So we're going to do benchmark partition just the same as before. We're going to hit start benchmark. And again, number of samples and number of passes, I'm going to do 1,000. Start benchmarking. Again, I need to put in my password here. All right, let's see. And so far, the performance is pretty much the same. Looks like the read rate might be a little bit less, 
um, but negligible if any, any if any difference. The right the write rate might actually be a little bit higher. Um, so right now, 415 megabytes per second read um, and 134 uh, megabytes per second write. This is this is really cool. And again, it's really impressive just how consistent the speeds are. There's no drops. And if you're gonna use this for, let's say, an operating system, you're gonna want that consistency. I mean, this is really, really impressive. Yeah, 416 read, 132 write. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much staying um, consistent across the board, uh, just as it did with NTFS. Very cool, actually climbed to 417 now for the read. Really great consistent. I mean, I've I've tested drives where you kind of see more fluctuations, um, especially with a thousand sample like this. This is really great. Almost done. Come on, Vision Tech Pocket SSD. Keep it strong to the finish. Keep it going. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm really, really impressed, guys. So let me go ahead and close this. I'm gonna unplug the drive. Now, after doing that testing, it's a little bit warm, um, which is it should be expected because it's an aluminum um, body, this, this aircraft aluminum. Uh, you can actually see the access LED right here. Um, just, wow, what a great drive. The, um, the cap is easy to put on. A phenomenal, phenomenal drive. So Vision Tech, you know, we already know that Vision Tech has great quality with, with graphics cards. Um, I reviewed one of their car chargers and was blown away by that. And once again, I'm blown away by this. Um, so I will put in the description a link of where you can go to buy this Pocket SSD. Uh, a great drive, a half terabyte. Uh, if you want to um, put fi if you want to store files, it's really fast for that. Or if you want to carry, um, you know, an operating system install. If you want to have like a Linux OS that you can just plug into your uh, desktop or laptop every once in a while, you boot into this drive. Um, you know, you can just you know keep it separate from, let's say, your Windows install on your desktop or laptop, and just have a Linux install or vice versa. Very very versatile drive, well built. And it's, it's beautiful, it's, it's actually a work of art. I, I hope that the video does it justice because the lines on this are just incredible. All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video and have a great day.